Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a Web Design Test Plus quick tip. I'm Adi and today we're talking about rating systems. I'm sure you've seen them on a bunch of different websites. Even uh, Web Design Tuts has one for its articles right here. So two big ways to, uh, to make them uh, using a font or using images. Let's cover uh, the first bit using a font. Uh, grab the web symbols font. Uh, grab this archive with font files for website. Uh, extract it. And once you do that, create a, a folder called fonts and only keep the TTF uh, woof, if that's how it's pronounced, uh, EOT and SVG files. All right, next, let's grab this font face. And let's go to our style CSS, paste it in, make sure the path to the fonts folder is correct. And the next thing, we'll add um, a very simple list. So we'll say UL rating with fonts, for instance, which has five, uh, sorry, five list items. Now, for the star, if we have a look at the character set here, the star is represented by the letter R. Okay, so let's put R in all of the list items. Now, these are displayed in their default color, but we also want to, to make certain uh, stars active. So we'll add a class of rated to the ones that we want to light up, so to speak. Okay, let's go back. Oops, lists. Okay, let's create our list. Rating with fonts list item. We'll say font uh, 36 pixels, or let's do 3ms. Line height is 3ms, and the font family is this web symbols regular with a fallback. Let's have a look. And as you can see, we already have uh, some stars. Uh, display inline to make them sit in a line and what else actually we can do a cursor pointer something like that okay uh, I I'll keep this color you can play around with it if you want but I also want to style the rated ones so we'll say rating with fonts, list item rated, and for this I'll just change the color. So I'll grab uh, a color from this set. These are some nice stars made by uh, Orman Clark over at Premium Pixels. So I'll grab this uh, very nice green color, something like, something like this. All right, have a look. And there it is, a very simple list. And yeah, you can go uh, go ahead and play with these, add some text shadow to it maybe. It's really your choice, but uh, the very simple way is, um, is this. Okay, next uh, we wanna add some images. And using font face is great, but uh, it, it won't work in IE 6 and 7. Uh, it, it won't display anything. So um, as a solution for that, you can use images. And images will also allow you to create this uh, halves in stars. So maybe you have like a rating of three and a half. Well, you can't represent that with fonts as far as I know, uh, but you can do it with images. All right. So. Uh, you'd expect me to create uh, three images, one for each star, right? For full, half, and, uh, and empty. But actually, I'll create a sprite, which I have here. And let me walk you through this. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with sprites, 
but basically a sprite is a, a big image that's composed of, ser of uh, several smaller images and that you load up only once in your style sheet and you just position it uh, differently depending on what you want to show. So in other, in other words, if you have 10 images in your website and you must load all of them, using the traditional way would make 10 separate uh, HTTP requests. Uh, by combining all of those smaller images, like I did here, in one bigger image uh, will lead to an improved performance of the website because you will only load one image. So you'll make only one HTTP request. All right, so uh, the trick to, uh, to using sprites is to know exactly the width and height of the element that um, uh, you want to style with an image. In my case, I know that my each of my stars will be 27 by 28. So each of these images are 27 by 30. Sorry, not 28, 30. So each one of these is the exact same uh, the exact same size. Now uh, I went ahead and exported this without a background uh, to a file called sprites.png uh, that you can see here. All right, so let's go ahead and implement that. So go back here and we'll create another list reading with images. Let's also do, oops, uh, five list items. Okay, you don't have to set any kind of content in these. It's really not necessary. Uh, so let's give it a class, rated, rated, and half rated. Okay. Let's open our style and we'll say rating with images, list item. Oops, sorry about this. Okay. Uh, we'll say width is 27 pixels, exactly the width of our image. Height is also is uh, 30 pixels and we'll set display to inline block uh, inline so that all of our images would be positioned horizontally and block because we want to benefit from the width and the height so uh, we must set that as block all right now we're not showing anything because we didn't set the background image so we'll say background, transparent, and the URL is images sprites.png. We'll set it at no repeat, left, and top. Let's have a look. And there it is. Now only the the full star is shown because it's the first uh, the first star in the in the sprites image, it's positioned at zero zero, um, which is exactly the position of our first list item. All right, but let's let's shift that. Uh, the default uh, list item should contain the empty star, so we must shift this whole image to the left, and we gotta shift it by. 54 pixels, which is the combined width of these two images. And that's the way sprites work. All right, so let's do minus 54 pixels and zero. Let's have a look. And now the empty images are loaded. Now it's just a simple matter of getting the correct 
uh, background positioning. So we'll say list item rated. We'll say background position. We want to start with the first one. So we'll say zero and zero. Let's have a look. There you go. And the other one, let's uh, copy this. Rating with images, list item, half rated. And we must shift the background um, to minus 27 pixels. And there it is. Let me zoom in. All right. Um, so I'm not exactly sure uh, you understood how sprites work, especially if you're a novice. Uh, it's really easy once you get a hang of it. Mm, if you want uh, more, uh, more details on it, uh, please uh, say so in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. But for now, uh, this, uh, this is it for, um, for the tutorial. Uh, you saw two ways to create it. Uh, one uh, is better suited for some browsers, like this one, using font face. The other one will work on even older browsers, like IE6 and 7. So it's really up to you which one you, uh, uh, you want to use. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to uh, Web Design Tuts and leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Until then, this is Adi, signing out.